Well, today we're launching Beyond Regulation, a new programme exploring the role of compliance within successful business. And to tell us more, I'm joined by Phil Ryan, Chief Executive of the International Compliance Association. There are so many examples of where a positive compliance culture can make an absolute difference to the bottom line of a company. Pre 9-11 and I guess pre the global financial crisis, the role of a compliance officer was very much a junior role. Now regulatory pressures have really changed that. Now we have greater numbers, we have greater levels of seniority in compliance with many people actually sitting on the board and of course that means greater influence. <laughs> What we're seeing now is that firms can create competitive advantage by making sure that actually reputationally their commitment to the highest standards is known and understood by their clients. Clearly for you, I mean, compliance is the forefront of your profession, but, but what would you see as, as the key issues that affect your colleagues? Well, probably one of the biggest issues driven by the whole geopolitical turmoil that we're in with Brexit and Trumponomics is that the volume of regulatory change is just growing and growing and all the commentators think it's only going to go one way and that's further up. Cybercrime, money laundering practices, terrorist financing is far more sophisticated and that means that a compliance professional needs to understand all of the technological aspects that previously would have been in the domain of the IT professional. That creates actually a war for talent in the world of compliance. At the top end, we do not have enough individuals who have the depth and breadth of experience for the roles that are out there. As banks and financial services have become more and more sophisticated at fighting financial crime, the criminals have actually started to target other industries. So when it comes to telecommunications and mobile transfer of payments, when it comes to gaming, estate agents and property purchase, all of these give launderers the opportunity to actually clean criminal proceeds. I think the other thing that many industries actually share is the need to focus on the conduct agenda because ultimately they all have end users, people like you and me, and we need to be protected as these things become more sophisticated and the compliance officer has the, the role of ensuring that the regulatory changes that protect us are properly implemented in those companies.